Why France and the U.S. are always at loggerheads. Once again, the U.S. and France are at odds. Emmanuel Macron wanted to get China involved in Ukraine, but the Chinese ambassador Lu She threw a curveball. These ex-Soviet countries don't have an effective status in international law. Many allies have criticized Macron's approach. His recent phone call with Biden was reportedly tense. This only adds to a long history of tension. France and the US have a long history of bickering. They've disagreed on issues ranging from war to trade. These relations date back to the American Revolution. France was a major colonial power. It chose to support the American colonies against Britain. It provided both military and financial aid. In 1778, France and the US signed the Treaty of Alliance. French immigration into the US increased in the 19th century, but there were still tensions. In the late 1800s, they led to the Quasi War. The US began to trade more with Britain. It remained neutral in the Anglo-French Wars. The French then began seizing American ships. They claimed the vessels were violating maritime law. The US responded by creating the US Navy. American ships were authorized to attack French ones. During the conflict, both sides suffered losses. The US Navy destroyed the French West Indian trade. The quasi-war continued until 1800, but the fighting eventually ended in another treaty. Tensions rose again in the 20th century. During World War I, the US and France fought together, but some French leaders, like Ferdinand Foch, wanted to command American troops. American leaders wouldn't allow it. Ultimately, a compromise was reached. During World War II, the US and France were once again allies. Yet they didn't see eye to eye on strategy. The US favored bombardment, followed by a ground invasion. France preferred a more cautious approach. Plus, there was the question of leadership. Charles de Gaulle led the Free French Forces. He criticized the Americans for dominating the Allied effort. France sowed its liberation to the United States. But the two countries were more divided than ever. During the Cold War, France pursued a policy of Gaullism. De Gaulle emphasized French autonomy. He pursued an independent nuclear policy. The two countries clashed over the Vietnam War and the arms race. In 1966, France withdrew from NATO. It took 43 years for Paris to return. In 2003, the US launched an invasion of Iraq. France publicly opposed the move. There were also economic disagreements. France opposed the use of sanctions against Russia. Now Macron has really made Washington mad. He paid a visit to Beijing amid criticism of Xi Jinping's militant rhetoric. Then he declared that the European Union should not follow the Americans' lead. Macron is willing to abandon support for Taiwan, but his stance is not universally shared, even in Europe. It looks like America and France are destined for an eternal tug of war.